How y'all doing, guys? Huh? Yeah. So anyway, what I got for you is I got a trailer reaction to do. And it's a game that came out about... About 12 years ago, I think. I think it came out on, like, iPhones or Androids, something like that. And you can probably read the title right here. It's called Inspector Gadget Mad Dash Trailer HD. And, uh, yeah, so I guess let's go check it out. Three, two, one, here we go. Cookie jar, cool. XMG? Is that, is that like a gaming magazine site or something? I don't know. In a world gone mad. <laughs> In a world gone mad. One man. Oh, is it one man? Or is it, or is it, or, or should you have said one idiot who doesn't know what he's doing? One hero. So he thinks he is. <laughs> well, I don't know about... Well, yeah, I guess he is a hero, you know. You know, because he's a a um, police officer, of course. Many gadgets? You mean like basically having spring loaded legs, um, um, uh, uh, you mean like having spring loaded legs and spring loaded arms and a, and a hat and a hand that comes out of his hat, helicopter. Roller skates. Uh, and that's about the only ones I can remember, really. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's continue on. Did he get <laughs> Mad Dash? Um, yeah. So, oh, it's like it's uh, you know, one of those games where you oh, it's like at the say Penny from Claw. That's not really that shocking. Oh boy, and, and I'll bet I'll bet Gad just thinking something like Don't worry, Chief, I'll get him. Ugh, that had all eight. And that so did that and that too. Ugh. Unlock Claw's face. You mean you mean in this game you finally find out what Dr. Claw looks like? I'm pretty sure most people nowadays probably know what he looks like. I'm pretty sure of that. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy this reaction, I hope you did. <laughs> you know, here's something. Here's a few things you guys could do. You could drop a like on the video. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Um, click that bell to be notified for future videos, because guys, we all know that YouTube probably doesn't notify you guys, so if you guys could click that bell, guys, that'd be really awesome, okay? And do share this video around, okay? Alright. So guys, remember, that was the Inspector Gadget Mad Dash trailer, and by the way, Inspector Gadget Mad Time Party is a, is currently available on all major platforms digitally. Physically, however, that comes out October 17th, okay? So guys, I want you guys to have a good day. You guys be safe. You guys be careful. You guys take care of yourselves. And guys, till next time. Later, fam squad. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. 
Because what I got for you is I got a tr- teaser trailer for a game that, that as far as I know, is coming out this year. In like September, I want to say. I want to say. And I want to ask you guys a question in relation to this to this game, okay? Now I want you to keep. Now I want you to keep this information in mind. Now, how many of you guys were around in, say, the 1980s? Depending on how many of you said yes, and how many ever of you, you know, said no, the ones who said yes, then we can proceed. If you said no, we'll still proceed. Okay? Now, how many of you remember a little cartoon show that premiered in 1983, I want to say? About a fictional detective who literally can't seem to get, you know, who can't, who literally can't seem to follow the right lead. Occasionally thinks his dog is like a is one of the bad guys he's chasing. And doesn't even recognize that the bad guys are like say trying to you know. Get him out of the way I guess would be the right way to say it. And the bad guys are let. And the head of the org- organization that's trying to get rid of him. We don't even know what he looks like. If you guys haven't figured out what I'm talking about here, I'm talking about a little cartoon show called Inspector Gadget. And yeah, I know you guys have probably figured it out, but just in case you hadn't, I figured I'll clue you in. (laughs) Alright? Now, what I got for you here is I got the trailer, the teaser trailer... For Inspector Gadget, Mad Time Party. And yes, this is the European, you know, version of the trailer, of course. (laughs) Of course. (sighs) And of course, you know, Inspector Gadget was always, you know, following the wrong lead. Thought his dog was a mad agent. And didn't even recognize that the bad guys, that the mad agents were, you know, mad agents. <laughs> I mean, come on. How, how like clueless is this guy? No, seriously. How clueless is he when he doesn't even recognize that, you know, like... <sighs> When he doesn't even realize that, you know, the when he doesn't even recognize the guy's wearing the most obvious bullseye right on them that says M-A-D, mad. And yes, I know that's probably the way the character was designed, and I accept that. I can accept that. That's fine. But, my God. And no, it probably has nothing to do with his his voice actor at the time. And as far as I'm concerned, a legend in voice acting, by the way. Who went out, who voiced, you know, the character basically as an adult. As, with Gadget as an adult. The one we know. And... Gadget as a kid, Gadget Boy, and he was Principal Hickey on Pepper Ann, if I remember right, and he voiced the, and he, and he just, and it's like, I swear to God, and, and he voiced the character up to 1999, sadly the, um, voice actor passed away in 2005, I think it was? Um, and you guys know who I'm talking about. 
He was also Maxwell Smart on Get Smart. I think he was also the voice of Tennessee Tuxedo. If you guys haven't figured out who I'm talking about as far as his voice actor, I'm talking about the legendary Don Adams. <clears throat> now, I want you to keep in mind, this is not really, this is, this is about the best I can do. Okay? Now, I want you guys to keep this in mind. Okay? Now, I'm pretty sure most of us on Saturday mornings or sometime during the week, probably in the mornings or maybe in the afternoons, probably watching some, probably watching like CBS or something like that. And probably hearing, you know, Don Adams say, you know, like, well, Penny, I suppose that's probably it. And of course, at the end of each episode, they would probably give like a safety tip. You know, yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, get on, get on with this. And uh, again, this is like a party, top party game. It's like a bunch of mini games kind of game, you know. Anyway, Peggy three. Peggy three. All right. Go go gadget roller skates. Yeah, yeah, that go. definitely rings a bell. Yeah. Clumsiest. Okay, so I think what happens in this game is like Dr. Claus trying to, you know, once again, trying to take over the world or whatever the heck he's up to, I guess. Or he's trying to, you know, take over the world sometime in the past. And it's up to Inspector Gadget to use Professor Von Slickstein's time machine. To go back and stop him. But the mach time machine breaks down. And I think it sends Gadget's ancestors into the present. I think. I'm not completely sure, guys. <laughs> now. Or at least that's the part of it. I, that's the only part of it I could figure out. And you're probably thinking, well, where's Penny and Chief Quimby in all of this? Sadly, they've been sent to the future for some reason. And yeah, it's a, and what you have to do, I think, is you have to get like a bunch of, bunch of bolts to repair the time machine or something like that. That's best guess I can come up, I can come up with. Anyway. <sighs> Oh, ready. Yep, right there you go, guys. Inspector Gadget. Mad time party. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, yeah, anyway. Guys, what do I think of this teaser trailer? It's not really all that good. It's not very good. I mean, it literally doesn't tell us anything about the game. I mean, you know, here's what you here's what they could have done. They could have at least made, you know, like some sort of an announcement trailer. You know, like they could have actually released, you know, like or they could have uh, Anyway, let me try that. Let me start over again. What they could have done is they could have made like a they could have made this trailer just a little bit longer, you know. And it would, and then maybe or the, maybe they could have, you know, given some sort of like, you know, description of what the game's about, you know, because this teaser trailer. Doesn't really tell us. Doesn't really tell us anything. It doesn't really tell us what the game's about. It doesn't really give you anything to work with here. Yeah. 
And as you guys can uh, tell, it's coming out for Steam, Xbox One, Xbox One. Uh, I mean, the, the Xbox Series X and S, PS5, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. And you know what? That's sweet. <laughs> so what do I get this trail? What do I get this teaser trailer as a whole? I'm gonna give it about a three. Could have been longer. Maybe then the score would have gone up. So. Do I think this trailer, do I think they need to release like a little bit of a longer trailer than this? It might help. It might actually help, you know? <laughs> now, okay. So, to microids, if you guys ever do upload, upload like a, upload a trailer of this game, I mean like an announcement trailer... Please make it a little long. Please make it longer and make and actually, you know, explain what the heck is going on in this game. Cause this trailer tells us like practically nothing. You know? And it's coming up from Microid and Smart Tail. I don't know if I don't know if those are companies in we 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 know, but... Oh, it looks like you get some, uh... Launch bonuses. Looks like you get the game, of course. And the artwork looks, um... Pretty nice. Again, I don't know if this is like, you know, what you get as a pre as a pre-order bonus or something like that. I don't know. You get two sticker sheets, one of like you know gadget and probably all his you know ancestors and all that, and the other one would be like mad, and of course that'd be Doctor Claw's chair and you know his computer, how it would just probably keeps you know how he watches you know keeps an eye on you know what's going on, and you get a poster. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine like hanging up your hanging up a poster, hanging up hanging up this poster right here in like you know your bedroom or something like or someplace like that? That'd be cool. <laughs> so yeah, what do I think? Again, do I think this trailer is bad? Not at all. I'm just saying that it doesn't really tell us anything it tells us literally nothing about the game what it basically tells us if anything is it kind of tells us that you know it's like you're participating in a bunch of mini games that's about it so yeah guys that's about all i got for you so if you guys did enjoy this video, and I kind of hope you did. Um, feel free to feel free to click that like button, and feel free to you know leave your thoughts down below of what you thought of this reaction, this teaser trailer. Guys, I want you to keep in mind this was only a, this was a teaser trailer only. Okay, so keep that in mind when you th when you leave your comments. So this is from Microids and Smart Tail. Not sure if those are two well-known companies or not. Okay? So, yeah. So what do I think? Longer trailer needed. Pre-order bonuses. Keep as is. I mean, launch bonuses, keep as is, okay? Not a bad trailer, not a bad, not a bad way to, to give people, uh, to give people some, at least some information about the game. But not enough information given, okay? That is all. 
So again, leave a like if you did, if you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Click that bell to be notified of future videos because we all know that YouTube probably does not notify you when I upload a new video. And YouTube probably does not give a does not give a rat's ass about about that probably doesn't doesn't give a rat's ass to notify you when, when I upload a new video. If you guys don't click the don't click that bell, they're probably not even gonna notify you when I upload this when I upload this video. And let's see. And share this video around if you guys want to do so. That's your right to do so. It's your right to do so. Okay. So guys. You guys are awesome. I want to thank you guys for watching. And guys, remember. You guys made you guys made this possible. You guys made it possible for me to do this, okay? And I thank you guys, and I thank every one of you guys who have who have, who have actually watched my videos, who watch my content. Yeah, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, till next time. Later, fam squad. How y'all doing today? Yeah, so what I got is I got a launch trailer for you. It's the one for Inspector Gadget Mad Time Party. Launch trailer, Smart Tail Games. Whew. <laughs> yeah, you might remember that I did the teaser trailer for this one. And I wasn't and I said maybe you might want to make it a little bit longer than this. Well, I think maybe microids or however you pronounce it took our words to heart and I guess probably made a longer trailer. And by the way, the game comes out today. So if you're thinking about picking up this game and you like and you like a bunch of mini games and you also you know like inspect a gadget, it might be a good idea might be a good idea a good idea to pick up this game and see if it's to your liking. Now, I guess with no further delay, let's go ahead and get this and get this underway. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice. Wait. That sounds nothing like Marisa Marsh, who I think voiced Chief Quimby in most of the most of the original series. Serious. The city is in the hands of man. <laughs> and that doesn't sound anything like Frank Walker either. Uh, uh, wowzers! Right away, Chief. Right again. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty, and I'm right, and I'm on the case. Oh my. He makes his return? We believe the only way to stop this is to use Professor Von Slickstein's time machine. Wait, wait, if I remember right, didn't they use that like only three times in the original series? First time was to go back to the to his great grandfather, great grandfather gadget, who was a caveman, if I remember correctly. Second time was the ancient Rome, or Rome, I think is how they said it. And the third and final time, if I remember right, it was to go back to 19th century London to visit with his grandparents, I think he said. I think he said, so if that's the case... Wouldn't that be gadgets a lot older than he than he appears to be? And wait, if 
I remember correctly, and I could be remembering this wrong, guys. I could be remembering this wrong. So, so if I get this wrong, please someone correct me if I got this wrong. Please, I'm begging you guys. If I got this wrong, here's what I think Professor Von Slickstein said. Did didn't he say that it was that he re that he rebuilt the H.G. Wells time machine in the first episode they, where they used it? And wait, here's something else I figured out too. In the first episode where they used it, which I think was called Tyrannosaurus Gadget, I think I I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Anyway. <clears throat> If I remember right, they didn't have a set time limit, yet it yet in the two other episodes where they used it, they had like four hours to get back to to get for Gadget to get his assignment done and get back to the time machine so they could get back home. Whew. You see this big red button? You really Oh boy. Gadget, why did you push that button? Seriously, why did you, dude? I mean, seriously. You broke it. Great. You broke the darn thing. Of course it is. This time he brings company. It looks like he brings a pirate ancestor. His first ancestor, I think. A cowboy ancestor and a Viking ancestor. I guess. Hmm. Interesting. The machine threw Gadget's ancestors out of time. <laughs> yep. Wow. With parts from the machine. Yes. Doesn't look too bad, guys. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like looks like you have to do mini games in order to repair the time machine with an array of mini games, as I pretty much figured. Wait, that Penny didn't sound anything like Cree Summer, did she? No. And wait, in this in this little in, in this little part of the video, they look like they're in a museum or something. I guess. Wait, isn't that the ancestor from like nineteenth century London? So it looks like in this one you get Gadget, his ancestor from like the Wild West or something. Great grandfather Gadget. And I think that's his ancestor from 19th century London. Can't remember which one it is. Either it's either Char or Chimney Gadget. I think that was the name. I think I could be wrong though. Could be wrong, guys. So if I got that wrong and you know, listen, if I got any of this wrong, do feel free to let me know, okay? Well, let's hope you can stop Mad's evil plans. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, well, it's like if you... Yeah, look, if you if you pre available now, as you can see, launch bonuses, you get the game, you get two sticker sheets. You get a poster. That's cool. That's awesome, you guys. So, what do you guys think of that, huh? If you guys like, if you guys did enjoy the video, and I hope you did, <laughs> there's a few things I'd like you guys to do for me. Okay, you guys pretty much know what they are, and that would be to give a like. Share your thoughts as in, a com in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, I do appreciate it. Um, click that bell to be notified for future videos. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. And uh, share the video around if you, if you feel so obliged to do so. That's your right to do so. I'm not forcing you guys to do it. You're right. Yeah, and it looks and it looks like with the sticker set you get 
all the gadget ancestors, brain, uh, I can't really tell who that is, unless that's Dr. Claw sitting by his chair, and that obviously is. And this poster, by the way, if you if you ask me, looks freaking sweet. It'd be sweet to hang it up on a you know on a wall somewhere. <laughs> of course, to put it in a, in a to find a frame that find a frame big enough to hold that thing would be practically you know practically probably impossible to find one. So yeah, so if you guys did enjoy that, and I hope you did, you know. You guys have yourselves a great day. You have a good time. And for those of you who have already picked up the game, that's awesome. And for those of you who haven't yet, that's cool too. That's all right. That's okay. So, you guys have a good day. You guys be good. You guys be awesome. You guys take care of yourselves. And guys, have a good time. And let's try to enjoy, let's try to enjoy this time of the year, okay? <laughs> because as you know, summer is winding down. Yes, I know September is a fall month. I know that. And guys, you guys have a good time. You have a good day. Be good. Behave. And guys, till next time. Later, fam squad.